Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to introduce you to the new library templates we now have in SharePoint. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have this uh, project uh, team site with a, obviously uh, a number of various lists uh, and I have a library uh, where we are going to store documents. But uh, let's just say I want to create another uh, maybe library to store some documents. Uh, what you're going to do is click new document library and uh, in the past we pretty much just had uh, this blank uh, library option this is where you would create uh, essentially just another library where you would typically organize things through you know folders and subfolders however we now have uh, this option below under templates and as of recording of this video there are only three and i probably expect this to increase in the future uh, but let me explain to you what this is. So let's choose media library. Essentially, it's a library that is meant to store, um, you know, videos, for example, right? Uh, you know, some media. However, if you notice, you're not just getting a, a basic library where you can just dump all this MP4 files, all this video files. Uh, you are getting a library with all of this pre-configured metadata fields. And essentially, all of this will be automatically, you know, created for you with proper color coding and so on. And not only that, let me show you something else. So let's go ahead and create this, you know, a, a new library based on this um, template. And, you know, you can give it whatever name you want to give it. Click create. And let me show you something else that will happen. Uh, so it's actually behind the scenes, not just the library has been created, but it also there is a workflow. There is a, a workflow that uh, will be created for you uh, as well automatically uh, within Power Automate. And it's based on this uh, specific, uh, you know, kind of logic that you can read, you know, here, right? So three days before the release date, apparently that's a date field that will be a reminder sent. Now, this is something you can obviously build yourself, but you know, in case if you want to everything to be completely out of the box, you can pretty much um, just click next and the uh, workflow will be build, uh, built for you. If you do not want this uh, feature, uh, you just check this box and essentially uh, the library will remain as is and there will be no power to meet uh, workflow. You can also click uh, do this later. And in that particular case, you will uh, be able to build the workflow you get this extra button, I guess, finish that up so you can uh, you can add the workflow at any point. Uh, but here it is. Uh, look at this. Here it is. So uh, essentially the library, the all the metadata has been created. So your job right now is to upload the documents and, you know, tag them accordingly. Uh, let me show you the other two templates that are available. So I'm going to navigate back to the, uh, you know, home page just like that. And I'm going to create another library. And again, I'm going to do this time. I'm going to choose the invoices and same idea, same idea. So essentially those uh, templates are based on specific use case. In this case, we, um, you know, we're storing some invoices, I guess, and you have all this invoice related metadata, like, you know, the amount and due dates and so on. And as you can see, everything is color coded. Um, you can obviously tweak it as necessary. Yeah, let's proceed and build that just like that. Uh, and again, um, we are probably going to get this uh, workflow option. Yeah, so once again, there is a reminder workflow, which probably does make sense for the, uh, you know, invoices uh, will be sent before the due date, uh, just like that. Uh, and yeah, you know what, uh, let's, um, uh, let's not worry about the Power Automate. I want to show you uh, now, uh, let's upload, let's pretend this uh, invoices. So I'm uploading them to this library. As you can see here, right, it's uh, kind of prompting me for metadata now. So uh, let's just maybe tag a few documents just like that so you can see what's uh, going on. So all the statuses now you can obviously, uh, right, this is just based on the template. You can obviously tweak it and change, maybe remove some, uh, you know, values and all that stuff. But, um, you know, you can, uh, you can obviously see, uh, you can obviously tweak it as necessary. All right, so I'm just taking a few uh, a few documents, so uh, just like that, and that's essentially the idea behind this uh, template. And finally, let me show you uh, the final one, and uh, I'm going to uh, choose this learning. So apparently, this is like you know some learning materials and stuff like that. So again, it's just another 
pre-configured uh, template that you um, that you have uh, available. And once again, we are getting, uh, I guess with this one, we're not getting maybe the workflow. So it's just a library with um, uh, metadata. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you uh, related to this. So you will notice that there are, the, there are these templates available from uh, Microsoft. Uh, but as an organization, you can also install some templates. So if you want to standardize on the uh, look and feel of specific libraries, maybe uh, you configured it with metadata, maybe you configured it with some color coding, uh, your IT can install, but this does require um, the use of PowerShell. So, uh, and once installed, they will be available uh, within this uh, tab. Uh, but for now, uh, essentially, that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, particular video. Hopefully, you will take advantage of the uh, available templates. In my opinion, uh, the metadata, the color coding, uh, the workflows, they greatly increase the uh, user adoption um, uh, within your organization. So definitely feel free to consider those scenarios. But for now, thank you very much for watching this video. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmeeven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you. Goodbye.